For this week's Sports Star Spotlight, we're heading to the Atlanta area to meet one of the country's most talented quarterbacks. Marietta High School quarterback Harrison Bailey is hoping this is the year for him. But most people say this is the year. They usually talk about winning a championship. And of course, that's what Harrison and every other player in the state of Georgia wants. But in order for that to happen, Harrison is hoping this is the year he's finally healthy for every game. A broken collarbone shortened both his sophomore and junior seasons. He hasn't played a full season since he was a freshman. So it's been unfortunate, it's difficult. It's been frustrating, but at the same time, I know it all happens for a reason. And that the Lord, I mean, it's the Lord's plan. So the first one was understandable, like I got hurt and everything. But the second time, it kind of, it hit, it really hit, did hit different. So I, I just remember all them times just sitting on the sideline, waiting for my team to come off the field and everything. So kind of hurt a little bit, but it, you know, it's, it's made me stronger mentally. The first year it happened, it happened in game three. So we were able to make the playoffs without him. And then he came back for the playoffs and we went to the final eight. And yeah, he, he was tremendous. And then last year it happened again, but it happened in the region championship game. So we lost him that game and then he couldn't come back after that because the season was almost over. So we're hoping this year is, let's keep him upright and healthy and let's go full 15 games with him. I'd love to see what he can do with the whole season. While the tough luck associated with injuries is always a concern for any athlete, what's never been an issue with Harrison is his talent. It starts with his prototypical size. At six feet, five inches tall and 220 pounds, Harrison can see over the offensive line and use his powerful arm to hit any receiver on the field. Being that big um, definitely gives you like the visual aspect of the game, like being able to see over like the linemen and see through things. And then also like when you're in the pocket, being so big is not just I mean, not the easiest thing to take down to 6'5", 220 pounds. He's a physical specimen. He's got some of the best arm strength, if not the best arm strength I've ever seen. His, his ball placement and his accuracy are uncanny. That's something he's really worked hard at over the years. He's always been able to throw a football, but now to throw it in the right spot and put it in the right area for his receivers to do something with it, that's a talent that he's acquired over the last couple of years that I think is, is going to really make a big difference at the next level because at the next level, you got to be able to put a ball in some very tight windows, and he's going to be able to do that. Dude, playing with Harrison is awesome, like, because you, you, you don't really realize it until you get playing with some like other quarterbacks, all the balls that Harrison throw are like in the perfect spot for you to make a play on it. You think about it, like if a team is struggling at like quarterback, they're usually not that good of a team. So I, I know if I, I could bring the aspect and of being a good quarterback for my team. Being a quarterback is like you're the leader of the team. So everybody looks up to your actions and what you say and have to say. Harrison understands that being big and strong isn't enough to make him a great quarterback. That's why he remains committed to preparation. It isn't the easiest when it comes to like that type of stuff, like studying, like playbooks and film and lifting, running, throwing, and all that. So just a whole lot of work, really just consistent work, and really it's just time making chemistry with your players. I, I really do spend a lot of time in like the weight room and uh, with speed work, just like for my overall like health aspect. And then like where it comes to like nutrition and like the home stuff, like studying film and hanging out with your players and stuff. I mean, I take it seriously. So. He's like a Peyton Manning in my opinion. I mean, that, that's that's kind of what he is. He's, he's a guy that when he's off the practice field, he's gonna do, go do something else right now to get ready for tomorrow. He's gonna go study football. He's gonna go watch film. He's gonna go do something else to make him better when he comes back tomorrow. And that's kind of the same characteristic that Peyton Manning always had is that he was gonna outwork you off the field. And that's kind of what Harrison does too. Coach Morgan's comparison to Manning's preparation seems appropriate since Harrison will play his college football at the same place Manning did, the University of Tennessee. Certainly Manning's legacy was a nice selling point for Harrison, but he was also attracted to the balls because the program reminds him of his experience at Marietta High School. I feel like I could be me at Tennessee. I like going into programs that have a lot of tradition. I feel like Tennessee, I wouldn't say they're struggling right now, but they're definitely not where old Tennessee used to be. I don't know, I just, I related a lot to how I, I was at here, like choosing to come here. I brought my, the pieces around me and I came and um, turned the program around. So, I mean, I, I would like to do that at Tennessee. While Harrison is playing to make this the big year for him, his coach believes he has many good years to come. I think he could play early. I think he could play right away. I mean, it's a, you know, it's a question of the offense and the coaching staff, what they feel. That's up to them. But he's going to be ready, uh, physically and mentally. I think he can play. Um, he'll be he'll be a he'll be a starter in the SEC. I think he's going to have a definite NFL career ahead of him. He's got all those talents and all that makeup about him. It's going to make him successful. So sky's the limit for him. I mean, he's going to be 
a tremendous, tremendous player for Tennessee and, and beyond. And we'll just we'll see how it goes. But I'm rooting for him, and I think he stays injury free and continues to develop. He's going to be a very, very good player for a number of years.